Alrighty, so in this video, I just want to say I appreciate all the support and the patience. So I've just come back from overseas in Thailand. I've been a bit sick, so it's my first video in over a week. And what I think I wanted to target was one of my strategies and what I find to be one of the highest probability ways to execute trades. And it involves a multitude of things combined together, right? So in terms of my strategy, if I'm thinking of what I use, I use a mixture of a few things. The first is the silver bullet. So the 2022 model, that means most of the time, not always, I'm using a fair value gap to enter off. The second, I like to use the macro from 9.50 to 10.10 in the morning. So if something important happens there, even better. Doesn't have to, but that's what I look for. And I also look for this delivery from a higher time frame, PDRA. And I'm gonna do one last thing, clear target or it has to make sense. So we're gonna kind of delve into these things, but in a nutshell, this is one of my main strategies. All my strategies are based off a rate of liquidity. They all require some kind of rate of liquidity. They don't all require a market structure shift, but 90% of them do. And 99% of the time I'm entering trades during 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, or I'm using the macro from 9.50 to 10.10. So I may execute trades just before 10 o'clock. So that's kind of where I base it from. So looking, I believe this is yesterday's price action. Now for me personally, I haven't traded in about two weeks. I've had a bit of a break off. I plan to start looking at the charts again properly, probably next week in the new year. But this is a really good example of all these things kind of coming together, right? So firstly, if we mark out the silver bullet time frame. And let's have a look from 10 o'clock with that line there to 11 o'clock with this line here. That's when you're meant to be executing trades if you're looking for the silver bullet model. And we know there's a macro from 9.50 to 10.10. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two more vertical lines, one at 9.50 and I'm gonna make this a red color and one also at 10.10 just so you know where the macro is, right? because we are happy to execute trades in this time frame, but we're also looking to see what happens between these two red lines. So at face value, without any higher time frame analysis, it's quite evident that, you know, market open, we saw this small rally up and then we've come all the way down here. Right now, as we're moving down in this particular example, we've swept by sell liquidity pre-market at like 8.30. We had all these relative equal lows that we've swept. Now, Zooming out, what's next? So if I was watching price action and price action is coming down, I'm waiting for this macro 99% of the time. What does this macro do? At the start of this macro, notice there's this accumulation period. That there is like accumulation. So if I'm watching the macro, okay, it's, it's preparing for something, right? It's preparing for something. I get some accumulation. I get some sharp and abrupt manipulation to the downside. So... At this point, I'll be thinking, okay, if we're going to have the power of three accumulation, manipulation, distribution, even if I hadn't seen that yet, what are we actually reaching for? And the market only reaches for two things, right? The first thing the market looks for are swing highs and swing lows. And the second thing are imbalances. That's it. And if you watch any of ICT's videos, that's what he talks about. The market targets these two things. So if you see the price kind of head down in this direction very quickly and abruptly between that macro, then what I'll be thinking is, right, is there anything on a higher time frame that the market could be reaching for? And if you're trading on the one minute or the 30 second chart, then I'll be looking on the 15 minute, right? So for me, I'll be looking on the 15 minute and notice how you've got this bullish gap from this candle's high to this candle's low. So there's this bullish gap here. And we've extend that across in time, that bullish gap, if I just go back onto the one minute chart, Notice how during that macro, we accumulate, we come down, I'm gonna get rid of this line. We come down, tap into that fair value gap, right? Now, each PDRA represents something different for me and how price behaves in each PDRA tells me or gives me more confidence or not confidence to actually execute a trade or potentially look for a trade in that time period. And what I mean by that is this. We've mentioned point number one, that's from 10 to 11. So at the moment, we are in the silver bullet. The macro for me here has seen accumulation and manipulation into a higher time frame PDRA. And now we're talking about number three, right? Now this, if we just label this, this here is a 15 minute 
the Fair Valley Gap. So we know it's a 15 minute Fair Valley Gap. It's a higher time frame PDRA. As soon as price enters this during the macro and the start of silver bullet, I'm getting my Fibonacci like this and I'm measuring out the 50% level of that PDRA. Now, this is really, really nice in terms of perfection and algorithmic price level because look how price actually respects the 0.5 level or consequent encroachment. So it doesn't matter if you're looking at an inverse gap or a breaker block or an order block or whatever it might be, always use those PDRAs and measure out the 50% level, right? Whatever it is, if you want to break into quarters, if that's how you do it, do that. But for me, I'm seeing how it behaves at the 50% level. Do we want to reach lower? Or are we kind of respecting that and maybe want to push back up again, right? So that's the next thing. Now, from here, I would be looking for some kind of market structure shift. Now, unfortunately, especially in December, the price action, it has been okay, but sometimes it happens before December as well. On the one minute, maybe you miss an entry because there's no fair value gap to enter off, right? So if you're trying to use this silver bullet model, maybe you get, you know, you miss out on the trade. So what I've found is using the 30 second time frame can often help, right? So have a bit of a look here. You've got accumulation, manipulation into a higher time frame PDRA. You've got a market structure shift above that swing high there. So that there is your market structure shift. It's extremely clear, extremely clear there. We've got displacement. We'll leave a fair value gap. Now that fair value gap, if I draw that out in green, it gives you all that window to enter from, right? Notice the bodies of these candles respect that on the 30 second time frame. So you've got so much time to enter that trade on the 30 second. If you look on the one minute though, notice how there is no fair value gap. There's this red candle here and that's an order block. So you might've used an order block, but if you wanted to use strictly the fair value gap entry, notice how maybe you have to use a 30 second time frame, right? So what you notice there is you've got a rate of liquidity. So you've got this built up engineered liquidity. We take out that liquidity here. So there's your rate, if you want to call it that. We tap into this higher time frame PDRA, which is a 15 minute fair value gap. This is like the real bread and butter for me. If we rate liquidity, we're in a macro, we're tapping into say a 15 minute fair value gap, we're respecting consequent encroachment or halfway of it, and we've got a market structure shift and we're in silver bullet. It, there's so many stacked confluences, right? So this point four, is there a clear target or does it make sense? Well, yes, it does make sense because we've had all these confluences and we've had the power of three accumulation manipulation. And whenever you take moves like this, because people ask me like, how do you know it's going to be the power of three? Well, you don't know straight away, but as soon as we deliver into this 15 minute imbalance and we start to respect that and we have a market structure shift, you have to have confidence in the trade. So if you're in this trade, I would expect it at least if this is going to play out to reach the top of this accumulation. So at least to reach this point, right? So that there could be like your take profit level or it could be a partial level, whatever you want to use, right? So let's say you went for a long position from the start of this fair value gap. You got filled maybe right here. Your stop loss, right, would go below this candle and that may be where you take off one contract. For me personally, I like to use at least the one to two risk to reward overall. And what's interesting, right, if you want to find a way to actually get your take profit levels, we need to understand that the market moves between discount and also premium, right? And the last, I guess, dealing range that I'd call like the major swing points, I'd say this here is a major swing point and that there is a major swing point. So if I was using my Fibonacci, I can use that again from this point to that point. And at the moment, we're sitting down here. Price, I'd expect it to come at least above this 0.5 level. And what would be really great is if it took out this swing high, because if it did take out that swing high that I've marked out, it could then fill this imbalance here, right? So if I go back, say, to a one minute time frame, notice that if we take out, we get rid of this. If we take out this swing high, we take out swing high and we feel this imbalance. We've just satisfied two things that the market likes to do, right? So whenever I'm looking for take profits, I'm either looking for you know, the top of the accumulation in this case, or I'm looking for swing highs and swing lows that have imbalances nearby because we know the market targets those two things, right? And this is one of my typical entry models. Um, it's, it's a mix of you know, a silver bullet, but you still need an understanding of high time frame PDRAs. Um, you don't necessarily need a daily bias, which is a really good thing about it. Um, this trade here, all we've been looking at is the one minute time frame, And what we've relied on 
is the fact that we're in a macro, we're in silver bullet, we've got the power of three, we're delivering from a higher time frame PDRA and we're respecting it and we're trusting that at minimum, at minimum, we're going to get to the top of this accumulation. So what I'd be doing if I was in this trade, enter straight away from this fair value gap, stop loss below this low and I'd probably have two contracts, for example, one contract gets removed there, the second contract get re gets removed there. As soon as this level is hit, my stop loss gets moved to break even. That way it's a risk-free trade. And you can see what price does there too. So it's quite interesting, right? And really with this kind of model, you can build a really nice structure and a high probability structure because you've got more than one confluence that's actually you know matching up together. So I thought I made this video. It's not a very long video um, from what I know, but this is one of my main strategies. Um, in terms of the time frame, you can see it's 30 second. It's not always a 30 second entry, but as soon as this happens, this massive drop into a 15 minute fair value gap, I'm moving to the 30 second time frame regardless, just to see on a smaller second time frame what price is looking like it wants to do. If something pops up on the one minute, I'll execute there. But if there's no one minute entry, I'm going to take that 30 second entry because as you can see, like I showed you guys, like on the one minute time frame, there's no real entry here. The only thing you could have entered off maybe was an inversion gap. You know, as soon as price closes above this gap here or this gap here, maybe on a two minute time frame, you may have entered as soon as price closed, you know, here. But then if you're entering right here, somewhere around here, you only got a little bit of movement before price then goes back down. So personally for me, my trades, if you've seen my other videos, either whether it's live executions on my YouTube or, you know, TikTok, I'm only in it for a short amount of time. So if you look at the time span, say you executed here at 10.16, my full take profit would be here roughly at about 10.40. It's only about a 30 minute trade. And on average, my trades last for roughly 30 minutes max. It'd be extremely rare, unless the market's very choppy, that I'd be in a trade for more than 30 minutes. And some trades, you know, they'll be about seven, eight, nine, ten 10 minutes. So I hope this kind of helps. This is one of my main strategies and what I've found to be through back testing, forward testing, and just executing trades myself, a really high probability setup when you're delivering from a higher time frame PDRA and you've got multiple confluences and it makes sense for price to do what you want it to do. That's what I'd like to see happen. So if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. I know a lot of people have been asking for certain types of videos and I'm going to make those as we kind of go along. Um, and look forward in the future, I do plan to probably go live on YouTube, as I said, in the community tab. So that'll be next year. I may do it like once a week, um, probably a mix of London session, New York session, depending on the time zones. And we'll see how that kind of pans out. But until the next video, guys, I'll talk to you guys then.